Bust out the scraper if you're parked outside. Uh, it's not just going to be light frost. I think a pretty thick layer of frost will be on your windshields before you head out this morning. So give yourself a few extra minutes to clear that off. Besides that, it's just about the cool start to the day with temperatures near or below freezing. We're at 31 in Des Moines, but north of the metro and across northern Iowa, temperatures are in the 20s. So we're talking a hard freeze up there. Farther south, clouds are keeping temperatures near or just above freezing from Ottumwa over to Lamoni. Uh, there may be a little drizzle here and there near Ottumwa. It, it's very, very isolated and probably not going to cause many issues. The rest of the state is dry and will stay dry and sunny all day long for your Friday. Temperatures climb near 40 by 10 o'clock. We're in the 50s by 1 o'clock or so and we'll spend the rest of the afternoon in the lower to mid 50s before quickly cooling down later on this evening. So your best chance to get outside today is probably going to be 2 to 6 o'clock after that. It will be pretty darn chilly out there. Mild conditions for Saturday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, but after that, uh, everything's going to come to a crashing wintry halt. Uh, cold weather moving into not only Iowa, but much of the U.S. throughout next week. An Arctic cold front moving through. Now, the cold is a guarantee. What's not guaranteed is if we're going to see snow or not. The models are becoming a little bit more uh, in a better agreement about what's heading our way late Monday, and that could be a wintry mix. Possibly some rain for the southeast half of the state, maybe some snow in the northwest half of the state. Central Iowa could see some of that snow as well. How much snow is it going to be? One model says it will be accumulating snow for central Iowa. Another model says it's going to be pretty light and we may not see much accumulation. So still trying to pin down just how much snow will fall if it did not, does indeed move through Iowa. But again, late Monday through Monday night, early Tuesday morning, there is a chance, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But uh, boy, those temperatures are going to be rough next week. We go from the 50s for highs today through Sunday down to the 40s on Monday. Highs in the 30s on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. The Baker's Night low that night is 26. Around trick-or-treat time, we're probably going to be near freezing. And Halloween not looking much better with a high of just 40 degrees.